Well, man, looks like I did them next. I'm not going to say that quick because I'm like 30 minutes late. I was busy, you know, doing something else. But we got the Bernardo Silva. Um, we're going to test them out, man. I got the squad probably ready already. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Check out the social medias down below. Check out the Twitch. Check out all that. We are going to get in some games, man. We have Bernardo Silva, the Portuguese. Man, I'm part Portuguese. You know, we're going to see how he is. I did him for pretty cheap, but I think it said that he was going for about 252k. Yeah, 252k on Xbox, 243 on PS4. If I said that right, man. Four star, four star, left footed, 5'8", high, high work rates. 93 finishing, 99 attack positioning, 98 acceleration, 90 sprint speed. Agility balance. I mean, come on. You already know that is his dribbling is going to be just OP. We're going to see how it is. He should be very responsive in game. This should be very meta. I'm going to put him in right for Salah. You know, I might want to try him in the 4 2 3 1 out of cam. So I'll remove Firmino out on the ramp position. I know it's not the best, but we're just going to test it out for the purposes here of testing him out in game. Uh, he's going to be playing right mid as well. Yeah, man, we're going to get into some games. See how he plays, man. Like I said, please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell to know every single time one of my videos goes live. And we're going to test him out. In the start, man, we're going to be trying him out at the 4-4-2 in the beginning. See how he is. This guy's hitting the start. I hope he doesn't try and message me and say this and that. Because I'm not really trying to help you do nothing. I'm trying to help myself and get this video out. Let's see how this uh, Bernardo card is. So his acceleration is pretty nice. Ooh. That was partly on me, but he feels pretty responsive at the moment. I think that the gameplay is pretty ass, though. I want to see how he is. The instructions that I have on this 442 I leave on for everyone I have them on stay wide getting behind and get into the box for cross um, that's what it is for that and then for the 4231 I'll check out at the second part the second half and I have him just on I'm not I'm not gonna have him on comeback on defense I'm gonna just leave him on balanced yeah I'm gonna leave him on balanced everything see his off the ball movement he's making a run see if I can get that boom Yeah, that is uh, the gameplay being straight ass. It's Bernardo Silva. Get a sh Ooh, he has very good shot power. I am seeing a problem with him, though. He, For some reason, I don't know if it's the gameplay, but he doesn't feel fast. Like, at first he felt good, but now it's like, I don't know. He has very good acceleration, but he doesn't feel like he's that fast at all got one back with one out of for some reason this guy uh bernardo silva just wants to keep on coming into the middle it must be the instructions that i have on him in the 442 but this is how i would play with him because these tactics work out best for me so it might just be because of uh the instructions i have on him but sometimes he feels fast enough he definitely has strength on him though because he's been pushing off people off the ball all day this whole game so um his strength is actually surprisingly really good. Be using the 4231. I don't know, man. I'm not liking the card. I don't know. It could just be my tactics and my instructions. Uh, but this should be a way better test because I'm going to be using him at cam. But I'm telling you, for some reason, I just, I'm not feeling the card right now. Like, usually I'll be killing with these types of cards. The reviews that I've been doing with the players they've been making a better impact than this card has i mean 
I don't know. We'll have This guy has like everybody behind the ball on like one depth or some shit. It's yeah, the gameplay is just shit. I, I could I could put some of the blame up on him or on the gameplay. The gameplay is fucking horrendous. It is horrible. Left stick dribbling. In this in this uh condition right now, it's pretty pretty garbage, but let's see how his uh free kicks are. That could have been partly my fault. A little bit too much power. Bro, this gameplay is straight horrible, bro. Like I can't even lie, man. Right now the gameplay is so horrible. It's it's not it's hard to test out a car when the gameplay is this shit. The most unresponsive shit. Bernardo Silva 6.5. Man, I'm telling you right now that this gameplay is making it very hard for me to judge this card right now. Especially when you play against somebody who has everybody behind the ball. It's very very hard and someone who's trying that hard to do objectives. It's just like, you can't do shit, man. Anybody that parks the bus in bad gameplay, that's why they win the game so much. Like, I'm not mad that I lost. I'm just mad that I can't, you know, use this card to its potential. I'm going to have to play another game. Um, I don't know, man. Let's see what people are giving him for a chem style. See what they're putting on him. They're putting a hot chem style, chem style on him. So let's see if I have that in the club. And I'll put that on him real fast. All right, so this time I'm about to start him out in the 4-2-3-1. I put him on stay forward because I don't really want him to come back. Um, and I also got him on getting to the box or crossing the 4-2-3-1. So I'm hoping that this is a little bit better. The gameplay is horrible. Hopefully, you know, it's hit or miss, man. I hope that the gameplay is better than this. Or at least this guy is not, you know, trying to do objectives, playing like all the way at the back, man. And just waiting for you to turn the ball over. So far, I've noticed that he has pretty good strength. His responsiveness is okay. I haven't really been able to test out his shooting or passing at all so far. But we'll see in this one here. Hopefully, if this gameplay isn't so horrible. So his strength is very good. Right run right there. He has very good shot power, I can tell. The left stick dribbling is good. Um, <clears throat> yeah, man. I don't know. He definitely gets in the right spot. I don't know, man. I don't know. I feel like a lot of cards that I've used would finish that shit. No doubt. Could that be my fault? It might be, but... Man, I'm not liking this card so far, man. Like, it's okay, but for 252k... Man, I don't even think if this card came out, it would be that much. I think that this shit should be like 130, 150 at the most. Not 252k, man. Now, Origi. 
sloppy there, Bernardo Silva. Well, that's a moment the fans won't soon forget. I'm trying to get through, man, but for some reason it messed up that pass. I went to Origi when I was trying to go to Bernardo Silva, and it kind of just threw me off. And uh, I didn't have a clear shot. Alright man, so this is going to be my summary on this card. The gameplay was garbage. Super trash. Worst I've felt in a while. Garbage. But that's majority of the gameplay in this year's FIFA. So, for me man, this card 252k. If it's still that, like, it probably is. But oh my goodness, 252k. I know he's a 94 rated player. Portuguese. Um... Man City player, 237k. Bro, this card is not worth that much. I would not do this card for 150k. And that's pretty much what I got him for. And you guys can dislike the video or whatever. But for me and for what I need, for what to you, for just like, you know, it's just not working out. It says he has 90, 98 acceleration. I definitely feel that. But when he gets up to his top speed, he feels hella slow. His left stick dribbling is, is okay. His shot power is noticeable. I think he got good shot power. Um, I mean, I don't know. I didn't. I wasn't able to get him into the shooting situations. I played him at cam. I played him at four four at, uh, at the RM position. I don't know, man. It's very frustrating because the gameplay was so garbage. But man, I'm telling you, I would not do this card for 230k. It's what it's going for. I wouldn't do it for that. Unless you have SBC fodder in there and you want this card for sentimental value. If you if you want a Portuguese good, uh, good right wing that's uh, cheaper than the Cristiano Ronaldo shapeshifters, I say go for it. If you want to put a Portuguese squad together, go for it. But as far as this card, I would recommend playing him at cam. But for me, I would play him out at right mid um, just because of what I have going on for my team and what fits my style of play. I don't know, maybe I'm being too harsh. He could maybe be better. I would say check out other people's player reviews, but for me, I would, I would not do this card, man. Um, he just feels, he feels garbage. I'm sorry to say it if I hurt your feelings. You know, I hope I don't hurt your feelings because it's not that serious, but anyways, man, please like, comment, and subscribe. Check out the social media, check out my Twitch, all that. I might give him a go for weekend league, but I think I'm gonna play team of the season so far, Salah there. It's a way better card in my opinion. But uh, until next time, man, have a good one, you guys.